Seven Corners is a global travel insurance, travel medical and travel assistance company. We have 50,000 members at any given time that are somewhere in the world who are covered by one or more of those products. The first thing I noticed in the server room is the servers that we had were Dell desktops that had been turned into servers uh, and the Smithsonian Institution kind of wanted their stuff back. We found that the major insurance servicing application was crashing constantly because the company had grown over the years 10 straight years of double-digit growth despite the economy. And I put out an, a request for information out to three different integrating partners, and I said, prove to me that you understand my problem, come up with a solution of best of breed practitioners, and tell me a project plan on how you can within three to five months have this up and running. Then a company called NetTech said, no, 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 what you really want is you want a Cisco UCS to take that problem out of the equation. Yeah, I didn't want a lot of maintenance and I didn't, I needed it right now. So I used a, a NetTech, one of our Cisco uh, partners, uh, they were VAR to help us implement uh, Cisco UCS, VMware Enterprise Plus, and NetApp Storage. With those three technologies, we were able to uh, kick off a virtualization project and complete it in a matter of weeks versus doing it on my own in a few months. You want VMware and then NetApp. This is exactly what you need for the kind of provisioning that you want to do on the fly. What I got most from on FlexPod was the fact that Cisco, VMware, and NetApp had already done all of the pre-validated architectures, the, the DIGs, the deployment information guides, and they had them out there not only for my uh, VAR to help implement correctly, but for me to learn and to see kind of what is a, a key for implementing the FlexPod. And if I just stopped the outages that they were having and didn't have to pay end-of-life costs for all those servers we were going to virtualize, it became a, about a $900,000 return on investment. We're working on implementing uh, vCloud Director, uh, VMware Operations. vCloud Director would uh, enable us to uh, have a fully self-service private cloud in our data center and it'll allow us to take uh, self-service to the next level. The next level of our uh, virtualization guides is uh, finish virtualizing all of our business critical applications. Kudos to Cisco and NetApp and VMware and NetTech for getting it done. It used to take six to eight hours to run. Afterwards, I had one of the owners who runs some of his own reports come into my office and ask if we had been using black magic because the report was printing before his hand was off the mouse. The only complaint we really had was one poor guy down in claims who used to like that hour smoke break he got every time he ran his monthly report. He was a little upset about it being one second. We're going to have the 50,000 members, instead of them logging into just a website, we're going to spin up for that person a temporary virtual machine that'll be their quick spin portal that'll have everything they need and it'll be available as soon as they click on the online purchase engine. And then when they're done, it then puts all the information back in the database or in the document store, and it will release that virtual machine's resources back to general population. 